Here we are again in some beautiful Oregon country. And as we saw in the last episode, since these are being recorded at the same time, this is a phone with a Bible app. And this is a mouse. And this is Bible study with a mouse. Shalom and welcome to <clears throat> another episode where I'm not picking the subject because the mouse is picking the subject. What is our subject for today? Hmm. What is the subject of today? You know, Christ told us take no thought for today, or take no thought for tomorrow, for today's troubles. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Exactly. And so, well, I don't want to think of the future, but I do want to think of a subject. I can't help but feel like there's something on my chest that I should talk about. You know, I'm trying to, I think it's the armory. What does it say there? Let me see. The Bible Armory. The Bible Armory. Let me see. Look at that. There it is. The Bible Armory. And the reason why I want to talk about the Armory is because so many times we go into battle and we're not prepared. And we're overtaken so many times. And why? If God has provided the weapons that we need, we're told no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So we do have sufficient um, tools and things that help us to fight, not flesh and blood, but against rulers and principalities and beings in high places and of all these things. So where is that armory found? Well, in uh... <clears throat> It is written, as you may have noticed on the back of the different Bible armory cards, that the Bible is the armory where we may equip for the struggle. But the Bible also talks about not just an armory, but it also talks about the armor of God. So are you there? Are you in Ephesians 6? Yes. My, the mouse has found Ephesians 6. He can read it. So read some this of it for is, us. This is where we should go. This is our armory, the Word of God. And these are the things that he wants us so we can be equipped to everyday battle the foes, the wiles of Satan, and that his kingdom should not prosper, but that Christ should be lifted up. This is what we need. Repeating the verse again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now we're counseled. Wherefore? Take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. There you stand for, having your loins gird up with the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, having your feet shod for the preparation of the gospel, and above all, taking the shield in faith, whereat you'd be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. But we're not done yet. Take the helmet of salvation, and if this was my Bible, this would be my sword. But And take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word that I got, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance, supplication for all the saints, <clears throat> for which I am an ambassador in the bonds, and that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. You see, all these, the helmet, the breastplate, the shoes, there's even a belt. I didn't get to it. And there's all types of this equipment that we're supposed to be layered on. This isn't just to make us look good. This isn't just to make us look strong or mighty. But this is so that we'd be able to overcome the tempter. We're told in Romans, that Romans 8 actually, well, let me just, since I have a Bible app, let me just say it, so I don't have to just make you guys guess. Say it to show that self-approved, right? So let's go to Romans 8. Romans 8, and then verse... Um, See, just to, <clears throat> while my brother looks for a text, I wanted to share a short testimony. Years ago, when I was just beginning these 
scripture memory card projects, I had gone through different titles or different names for what I wanted to call the project. And one of them was Sharpen Your Sword. And this was during the phase where I uh, was type. I made rectangles on Microsoft Word. I uh, made them the right size. I was c putting text in there. It was just a rectangle, rounded rectangle with a line with the Bible verse. I can maybe put an image up here or something, or some of you might be familiar with it if you uh, know the ministry well. But it was called Sharpen Your Sword. And the Sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, it is a powerful weapon, but if we carry around a sword that is not sharpened, or if we in our hearts have not hidden the Word of God, then we carry around a dull blade, a blade that the patience portion of, of the blade might not be able to cut something because there is not those words hidden in your heart, or in other words, that patience portion of the blade has not been sharpened. So I pray that as you utilize the Bible Army cards or make your own scripture memory cards, that you can endeavor and participate in this act of sharpening your sword. So I pray this testimony be encouraging to you and that you may go forth and hide the word of God in your heart and carry a sharp sword of the spirit with you in your heart. But let us return back to the mouse who has a little dandelion there. Yeah, man, beautiful things in nature, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though it's a weed, it does play a part. And you could actually eat this, but it's kind of bitter, so I wouldn't recommend eating it this way. Either. But anywho, Romans 8, verse 31. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? And verse 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. And as we continue to go through the armory, we will find that, we'll, we'll find that out more and more to be true. The armory was given to us so that we can be prepared to fight the foes of Satan. And now I ask you guys, are you guys equipped? Have you been to the armory? Do you have the helmet, the shield, the sword, the breastplate, the shoes, the belt, the cloak? You gotta study those for yourself to find out what I'm exactly I'm talking about. But they're there. You have to go and get yourself equipped. God gave us all the tools that we need, and now we have to go get ourselves equipped. So this has been <clears throat> the Bible app. This is the mouse. This has been Bible study with a mouse. Shalom, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>